the glute stretch, we're going to be opening up the hips and we're focusing on filling a stretch throughout our glutes and partially into our hamstrings and maybe down the sides of our leg as well, but it's going to coordinate through this corner of our body. And in order to do that, we're going to be flexing our hip also while externally rotating it as well. We want to make sure that our spine stays in a good position while we're doing this. In other words, we're not rounding forward. It's very common to see that with this movement. Once I get into position, you'll see why that's, that's a common thing. So getting into position, first thing we want to do, let's say we're on both hands and knees. I'm going to plant both hands. doesn't matter which one you start with. I'm going to start with my right leg forward. I'm going to plant my ankle and my knee firmly on the ground. My lower leg is going to be perpendicular to my body. If my torso is straight up and down this way, I'm going to bisect it and come across the center straight across. As I staple down my knee and my foot, my back hip is going to extend. I'm going to keep a nice flat neutral spine. And this is where I'm going to sink down. I'm feeling this on the outside of my hip. I'll show you from the other side here shortly. In order to get deeper into this position, we're actually going to actively drive down into the floor with this lower leg. You're going to feel a stretch back here. Drive down actively for three to five seconds and then relax. Okay, from here again, drive down and relax. Once you get those hips low enough to the, all the way to the floor, you can look away from your knee. You can move towards your knee. There might be some days where one of these sides will stretch more than the other, depending on where you've been putting the stress on your hips. Holding this position for anywhere from 10 to 15 seconds. You can go longer if you need to, if it feels good. Uh, when you're starting out, your hips may be so tight that you may actually only start from this position and that's okay. You can still work on driving that lower leg into the ground and then relaxing it. This is just a simple contract and relax technique. Focusing on getting those hips lower. From the other side here, I'm going to show you with my other leg actually so you can see it from the outside. Again, so start with both knees, bring that leg out. Lower leg is perpendicular to my torso. I'm going to open up that back hip, staple down the knee and the foot. I'm going to drive that lower leg into the ground and then relax it. Drive it down and relax it. Trying to get this hip closer and closer to the floor. Once I'm in position there, I can turn away from it or I can turn towards it. This stretch is going to help tremendously with squatting, lunging, deadlifts. You name it, anything that involves hip flexion and external rotation with the hips is going to greatly benefit from this movement. Now, that poor position I was talking about earlier, if someone is unable to get to the ground with their hips, they just move forward with their shoulders and kind of round forward. We want to avoid that. Instead, we want to focus on getting the hips to the floor. We want to keep our spine in a good position. That's how you do the glute stretch.